we want to make sure that our customers in Malaysia understand that, yeah, life's tough uh, today. And we think we have a big role uh, when it comes to affordability to, to helping out the many Malaysians and making life a little bit easier with better prices. There's been a lot of talk over the last couple of years with the pandemic uh, around uh, cost of living increase. We know today that people are doing it a bit tougher in Malaysia than they were 12 or 18 months ago. Less, uh, less incentives in the market uh, for people uh, to have a bit of extra cash. Interest rates have gone up, cost of living, food, etc. So we understand today that wallets are thinner than ever when it comes to spending on home furnishing. So what you'll see from us uh, coming into FY24 is actually we've got the opportunity to lower prices again. So whilst we had to increase prices, I think as a, a good retailer, the easiest thing to do would be leave prices where they are and when, when you know transport and everything comes down in price to just kind of take the fat and put it in our pocket. And of course, we're a business, we need to fuel our expansion and our growth and pay our employees and do all of those things. But we're gonna give back a, a little bit to the customer uh, this year, not the total range, but kind of 300 of, uh, of the products that we think are most important to the many Malaysians and they're gonna get a better deal coming into FY24 as we call it, so from the 1st of September this year. We're hoping that we're going to uh, be able to shift some people to start thinking about how they eat more sustainably, mm. uh, as well as having many, many more uh, plant-based options uh, and also a little bit more kind of portion control. That doesn't mean to give people less but charge the same, but to encourage people to eat within the within the limits of their uh, uh, of their of their bellies. You could say, right? No matter how much they love us, because that's how you shift behavior. That's how you make change. And it's the same with the batteries as well, right? No more alkaline batteries, uh, no single use plastic in the range, no plastic packaging in any of our deliveries or any of our products by 2025. Like to do that for 10,000 SKUs uh, in a very short period of time to completely change the way you package every product, that's a phenomenal shift. We have a responsibility to source ethically, to think about the environment and to give customers plenty of options uh, uh, to have alternatives to say traditional red meat, white meat, fish. Uh, well, now there's a plant-based option. So we're not taking anything away, we're adding. Some of those uh, collaborations, of course, that we do with other brands that are either hot or relevant or exciting for the consumer today. But I still think the essence of what we do still sits with understanding life at home and trying to be for the many people. You know, it doesn't really matter if you live in Sweden or if you live in Malaysia, you know, everybody needs something to sit on, uh, something to eat noodles out of, something to drink coffee out of, 
uh, something to sleep on, uh, something to dry yourself with after the shower. So we have more commonalities than we have differences and I think that's where IKEA understands its markets very well, that actually there's more things in common than are different.